Spurs uh, lost to Thunder. Oh them. yeah, Thunder advances. Well, if Tim Duncan wasn't 400 years old, then it would help out. All right, guys, what's going on? This is a Q and A with Charlie and Dean. Uh, we're here in Del Mar, which is where the Super Regional for California is being located. We have China Cho, who will be competing here this weekend, along with Kenneth Leverich. Really excited about seeing that. And then shout out to Michelle Kinney, who's also one of our athletes, who's going to be competing in Dallas this weekend at the same time. So uh, we can't be in two places at one time. So California is a little bit easier for us because we're from California. So we're here. Um, me and Dean doing the show live. Uh, Kelsey's also here, staying with us this weekend. She's located on the couch to our right. You can't see her. And Big Meech is at home, pregnant, not feeling the best. So that's our show uh, cast for right now. Um, but we had a Q&A that we threw up live on our Instagram and we asked some questions. So what I'm gonna have uh, Dean do is he's gonna ask the questions that were on the Instagram. I'll start with the first one and then he'll read the second one, he'll answer it. We'll just go back and forth um, and go from there. And if there's something that we'll decline on answering, we'll just avoid it. Yeah. So first question, when are you all going to bring that necklace to retail? I guess they're referring to the necklace that Danny's wearing that we all each own. Want to tell about that necklace? Or? Yeah, so basically the necklace, let me put this down. It's like my little, it's like my little security blanket. It's my computer now. Yeah. Um, so basically the necklace was given to us as a gift by Danny for, uh, during Christmas. And what he had got us was like a kind of an inexpensive $50 um, gold chain or gold plated chain, which is nice. Um, and then he got us these custom made caffeine kilos like emblem, uh, pure gold uh, pendants. And so we thought it was really Not cool. Not quite, those are real Those are real, those gold. real gold. And so we're like, man, dude, this is an awesome gift, but if we're gonna do the gold chain thing, we should like all go in and get legit gold chain. So Dave Spitz of California Strength is not only a good friend of ours, he also owns a, or his family owns a jewelry store. So for the actual price on those, and this is not to boast, it's just to show you why maybe we haven't came out with them officially for retail is, uh, chain including pendant is close to like $3,200. So we just didn't know how well that would sell online and if someone really wanted to buy a $3,200 necklace. Is that, would you agree? Yeah, and that was, yeah, we took our own money to get those separately. Yeah, it was but like, that was like different, yeah. It was, so that, that's not something that somebody could just, we could technically put one on there, but it wouldn't be like for profit, it'd be more just to see it. Who would really want one? If you that. if you really want one, like we'll do that. But we're, I mean, you could comment in the uh, below, just let us know. But we, it was one of those gifts that was like we just thought it'd be kind of funny to do, kind of expensive funny joke. But um, my wife doesn't really care for gold chains. Kelsey doesn't really care for gold chains, and I think Jessica personally hates gold chains. So it was our way of rebelling. So that's why we all have them. That's why the length of them is actually a little bit longer as well. <laughs> Of course. Next, uh, next question. You can answer this one. Okay. You, uh, you want to read it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, read. I'll read it. You read. I'm not good at reading. Uh, when are you guys uh, dropping the crop tops? So the crop tops in the coral and the black are releasing uh, probably next week online officially. Mm -hmm. And if you are here and you're going to the after party at Code Three, we yep. will have the coral ones available in limited quantities. So if you're going to be here. This video should be up tonight, so uh, if you're reading, you will if you're be seeing this, you'll be up before the party, so uh, they will be there. You can get one there, or next week. We have plenty of them, so if you can't make it this weekend, we'll have them there online for you guys uh, next week. Next question, I'll try to be a little bit quicker on mine. Okay, when will the US, USA crop top be back in stock? I believe that we don't make a USA crop top. I believe that we make a muscle T yeah. for women, and we did a, a flash restock last week in limited sizes in celebration of Morgan King qualifying for the Olympics. We are going to do something uh, probably for the Pan Ams, and we will probably do something for the Olympics specifically, but that specific run of shirt, I believe if Dean brings it back, it might be in a different style, but as of now, nothing probably um, until Pan Ams or the Olympics, correct? Pan Ams, yeah. Okay. Pan Ams, yeah. We'll drop another one. Next. Uh, do we ship to the UK? Yes, we do ship to the UK. Ah, um, uh, shoot. What's the, do you remember the name of that supplier in UK? We just got a new supplier in UK. You guys I'm sorry, I didn't, I'll leave, the, I'll leave it in the comments with the answer. 
uh, where you can get it to save on shipping if you're buying from the UK. Sorry, we just that. we just got out of there. It's a brand new, brand brand new. It's a, I forgot the name. It's my fault. But I'll have it in the comments below. Just so you guys know, we literally just got off a 12-hour car drive to get here from Sacramento to San Diego, and the first thing we did was shoot this video to make sure we answered all these questions. So, if we're a little tired and forget, I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Next one. What is the product you were or or are most excited about to release? Oh, me. Yeah, us, I guess, but you can answer it. Like, since I know your, per your, your personal opinion. My my personal opinion. We have um, we have a product coming out that is new that we've never done before, and people have been asking for it for a really long time, and it will help you um, with your gym supplies. And that's all I'll say about that because Dean's gonna do the release on that one. Okay. Yeah. Is that a good answer? Yeah, I think probably figured out, and but like without saying it. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, you guys will like that. When are the crops dropping? And okay, we already answered that, but they did ask also, are they one size? No, there's two sizes. It's extra small to small and medium to large. They do run on the smaller side. So I would suggest if you want it more fitted or you're a smaller person, obviously to get the smaller one. But if you want it a little more flowy, just get the larger one. Uh, okay. How did you guys decide to combine the two of be the two best of both how did you guys decide to combine the best of two worlds and mix caffeine in the best, has the best natural pre-workout and a bunch of kilos has the most legit way to crush the weights? Huge fan from Columbia. Uh, well, maybe we should say some of their like at names too, so we get some people's recognition on these questions. Who's that from? At Torres Juan, Juan D or Juan D.Y. Yeah, and sorry if we haven't been doing that. I just thought about maybe mentioning some of the names, but yeah. um, simple. Everyone we know likes drinking coffee and lifting weights, and that's what we like. And so this brand was developed out of a nature of necessity of the things that we already do. We wanted to bring a category and a group of way of combining people and communities together. So we feel that our brand encompasses that, that lifestyle of people who like to train hard, live an active lifestyle, and, and that like caffeine. And so that's literally how it came together. Yeah, exactly. CNK Austin asks oh my gosh who's the best employee you've ever had i would have to say probably uh our material warehouse specialist austin green austin does, green. does a great job every day austin you did great, great happy to have him on board shout out austin jacob's new he's learning but austin we've had you for a, jacob's, a yeah, year jacob, now he's doing good jacob's still getting his feet wet he's, yeah he doesn't get any uh we don't get an opinion on him yet we'll yeah see. i mean austin austin's on the floor already yeah. He's, he's getting minutes. Yeah, he's yeah. He's no longer a greenhorn. Jacob's a greenhorn. Yeah. Austin's a he's, Austin's he's a, deck, he's, he's a deck man. He's, he's on deck. He's proven he can throw assists and make shots when he needs to. Exactly. Jacob's doing that, but we just have we don't know if it's a fluke. We don't know if it's going to be like a, a flash in the pan yet. I think he's going to be a long term player. We'll see. All right. Holmstrong at Holmstrong asks, "Ever going to do a men's bro tank? And what about shorts or joggers?" And final question. When can we expect a C and K all day training playlist or mixtape drop? So there's three questions there. You want to answer all three of them? I'll go with all three. The first one was a bro, bro tank. tank. We feel like all of our tank tops are for bros. Uh, the second question. What do you mean like the deep cut? Oh, the deep cut? Yeah, those are more do-it-yourself though, I think. Yeah. I don't know. We've been trying to branch more into bodybuilding. Maybe you might see some new styles as we continue to grow into that sport. Um, to answer your second question, uh, just so people know, on joggers and shorts, that is something Dean has been actually working on for over a year and a half. But with anyone that has great attention to detail and wants to provide the best quality, we have chosen not to work with a lot of people and we haven't found or he hasn't found the specific one yet that will work. Just because we could slap our logo or slap our name on anything right now and we believe that it would do well on the aspect of sales, doesn't mean that's what we're going to do as a company. And so I think that Dean's just continually doing research yeah, to find the best product, right? Especially with the joggers. You know, like, we've, we we finally found some really cool shorts that we really like. That, but you mean, uh, you've been working on this over here. Yeah, of course. And it's just because there hasn't been... Sometimes people think that you're, like, maybe we're not or something because they don't see a product. No, no, it's there's a big difference between, yeah, just not wanting to throw out junk and throwing out something that we think is actually cool and that we actually like, just not going to throw anything out there. That's mm -hmm. not what we do. Anybody, as you can see, other brands that you follow, they all have might have some joggers or something, but like everybody has availability to the same products. 
it's just that I've we get those same products in as samples and we just don't necessarily like them. So we don't use them. We're not just gonna use it because somebody else did or because we feel like we, uh, we feel like it. we need to sell it quickly or do it. It's just not even how we do things. Never has, never will be. But yeah, we're working on some cool shorts that are more like a uh, a lazy day kind of like comfortable, thick still, but not too thick, flowy, mm -hmm. cool gym shorts that will look cool in the gym. And if you don't want to wear them in the gym, just out running around doing groceries. I know, I don't know about you guys or about you. Like, I don't wear much regular kind of shorts. It's mostly just like regular kind of stretchy shorts. Stretchy I just don't stretchy. wear denim shorts really, like not all the time, sometimes, but not very My often. My buddy Peasy does. Peasy does. Yeah, but that guy's questionable. Questionable. Questionable with all kinds of uh, style points there. I'm just kidding. Um, so what was the last question? Training mixtape. We did drop two training mixtapes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do need to work on another one. I'll talk to our DJ, DJ Rico. Yeah. So, uh, next question. Let's try to do like three more. Okay, three more. With the increased demand of popularity, with the increase of demand and popularity of the brand, do you guys expect to be where you were at first? And how did the name come about? At KRNMC. I think we kind of mentioned the kind of way the name came about, and there's uh, plenty of interviews where we talk about how the brand started. So, I mean, we're so passionate about it, I believe we could talk about that for an hour. On the aspect, do we believe, like, if I'm, ask, if I'm reading this correctly, or I'm hearing it correctly, it's like, do you expect to be, do we expect to be where we were at? Um, I, I think for me personally, and speaking for our team, is just that where we expect to be at is where we are. And the reason why I say that is, is because we take each day as its own day and we plan for tomorrow, but we don't live for tomorrow, we live in the now. And so the idea for the company is, is that you could project or make an assumption of where you want to be or what is it you want to do or products that you want to release or athletes that you want to have with your brand or how many people you want as a retailer or this or that. But all those things at the end of the day are just educated guesses because they're more of a projection, right? There's no, there's no like, like no subtlety of understanding those things. So those things are good to have as goals, but I think that where we are every day is where we want to be because we're living in the middle of the brand right now and we're expressing the way that we feel consistently through our everyday actions. Like driving 12 hours to get here to San Diego to be here for athletes. By throwing a pop-up shop uh, party Saturday night and having people have the ability to, to see our clothes and to meet us and to hang out. Not that people need to meet us, but just to make sure people understand no matter to what degree our businesses grow, you're never away from the people that are in ownership. And so for us, it's being transparent and just running a dope, cool brand. Do you agree? 100%. Okay, cool. Last one, I'll let Dean finish this one up. Ever? And we apologize for not getting to all of them. It's just, yeah, uh, it, it takes a long time, yeah. But, uh, so, from uh, Steph, Go, what is that? Steph, go we, go strong? we strong. Ever consider making sports bras? Yes, but oh, yeah, yeah, yes, but we haven't found one that we want to do or necessarily do a cut and sew. I don't think it's a that. bad thing. I just no, no, no. We we've, we've thought about it. We've talked about it. We, just we have, yeah, we yeah, acted yeah. on it in any way. Like obviously, we have a discussion all the time. Yeah. meetings every week. You know. And do you, there's like, a huge list of products we want to make. Do you feel like that's, certain, a, that's a product that people want? Maybe a product that people would want, but I feel like also uh, when you're about, a good thing about being a good trait of a successful brand is knowing your limits, where you are where you are currently. And I don't think we're in a, in a current situation right now with our company size and like we're still growing every day and we're not, don't have necessarily have the correct uh, connections to do exactly what we want to do for, for something like that. And not settling for yeah, I get you know, because like every you know, like I said before, there's all kinds of junk out there that you can just buy and throw stuff on, and obviously that's not what we want to do. So if we want to come out with a sports bra, we don't want to put out some piece of crap one that, yeah, it'll sell, but like, is anybody gonna like it? Is it gonna have good sizing? Is it gonna look good? Like, so eventually, yes, but you know, we kind of know our role and where we're at right now, and who we know and what who we work with, and there's nothing available yet to us. But as soon as we have that. Obviously, we'll go down that road, but until we get there, not yet, but soon. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys too. And so, just a few things I want to touch on. One, I have wore this shirt in other videos, and I just like the shirt, so I noticed that when I was looking at the screen. Yeah. And then, so I do have other clothes. I just like the shirt. Number two is is that we're gonna always try to be able to answer all of these questions. So if we can't answer them on the videos, 
me and Dean might be able to go back through the Instagram and kind of answer these individually. Um, but if we didn't get to you, don't feel like it's not because we don't care about you. It's just there's only um, so much time in these shows. But please feel free to ask questions frequently throughout our Instagram. No matter what the post is about, ask questions. You'll get something from CMK Dean or Caffeine Kilos or me or Danny or um, any of us on the team. And if you ever have any questions too, just go ahead and feel free to put them in the comments below in the YouTube video. We appreciate you guys. We're super stoked about being here. And uh, be on the lookout for some really cool creative stuff that Dean's doing. And I think it's just a really good opportunity for a lot of people. They always get to see me out and talking and stuff. But when it comes to the aspect of our clothing, our brand, and kind of what that looks like manifested onto people and what they're wearing, that's all the genius of Dean. So I'm happy that we're able to do more things where you guys get to get perspective from him. So, and updates from ESPN. Super topical, cool dude, right, Dean? Yeah, sure. All right, guys, catch you next time. See ya.